This is Amelanchier canadensis, a Shadblow service berry. It's a native tree. This is a big one, multi stem. It's usually multi stemmed. I'll show you some smaller ones in a little bit. The flower buds are just starting to swell. You'll see here. There's the flower buds. Slender twigs, gray bark. This one has some lichens on it. It's called Shadblow service berry. Shad, as you know, are fish. Maybe you don't know. They are migratory fish that swim up into rivers like the Delaware to spawn. It's a member of the herring family and they spawn in the spring. So, service berry gets its name because back in the day when people would die in the winter time, the ground was frozen solid. You couldn't dig so that they would they would put the people in a temporary crypt until you could dig the ground. And service berry was a tree that was in bloom at the proper time. And that's how it's got its name. So this is a fairly common small tree or even a large shrub in this area. It's native. Makes a good addition to your landscape. Here's a grouping of some smaller Amelanchier canadensis, a shad blow. These are in front of the administration building. They're a little more advanced in flower than the other one. Let's show you one here that's just about ready to open. See these white flowers. There they are. The teeples and sepals here are in the new growth, actually, the new leaves covered with downy hairs. You can see that. Gives it a grayish white appearance. 